can this new platform be the Canva killer? I wanna show you this amazing ad design platform. It's great for designers who wanna create video ads, create you know ads for Facebook, Instagram, or if you're working with clients and you need to create so many designs all in one go, called Creatopy, and it's an amazing automation platform that helps you scale. Before I jump in, I have a design I've done in Photoshop, and this is an ad that you know could be for Instagram stories, maybe you were selling a product. In this case, we're doing you know a Nike shoe, for example. So I've created this and what I can actually do is go to Kratopi and you can see this is the back end. It's got a nice sidebar that I can create projects. I can see my designs. I can even use um, brand kits as well, which will save me heaps of time if I'm working with one client. I can also create a project. So if I click the plus button, I'm gonna call it Nike Design. I can add, you know, editors, um, which is super cool, or I can add a viewer. And for example, if I have a team, you can, that's good for you. I've got this project, you can see on the left, the ND, it's got that logo. I'm pretty sure we can change that as well. You just click on project settings and we can change this. If we had a Nike logo or something, we could probably uh, do that. Let's see if that works. Cool, we've got the Nike logo there and that's pretty cool. I can also add a brand kit, but I'm not gonna do that for now. So let's go to the top right and click create. Now the cool thing with Creative is that it already has uh, hundreds of inbuilt templates that are really easy to customize, they're super easy to use. They've got vertical square layouts, they've got landscape layouts, and they've just got heaps um, in their library. And they even have images from starter stock and a whole bunch of stuff that I'll show you. But what you can actually do is just click on create. And when you click create, you get some options. So it says create custom size, create a design set, or upload a PSD file. And I love this feature because I can easily just upload, click that, double click on my PSD file and it's gonna load in my design. I'm gonna pop up with this uh, box right here. I can see all my layers. Obviously some of the layers are not really named, but that's okay. And we're gonna click upload and create. So there is my design. The only thing is, is that the typography is not updated and I might need to adjust uh, the text. You can just move these around because the font changed. And what I can do is upload my own fonts. Now I'm gonna click on this text and you can see you get all these um, parameters you can play with. So you've got text, you've got color, layer, you can link an action to the button. You can even animate there with a timeline. I can turn the timeline off by clicking on the bottom there. You've also um, got copy style. You can duplicate things, you can copy, etc. So I'm gonna click on this text here. I'm gonna click um, the style and click a heading. And now what I wanna do is click on the fonts here and you can go to all fonts, web fonts, or click on brand fonts. And so you can see it says upload font. I can click this big button here. It's called Noah. This font is from Font Fabric. Um, I love um, their fonts. And so I'm gonna upload, let's go um, extra bold, bold, and we'll go medium regular. And I'll click open. It'll ask you that you're uploading them. Make sure you have the permissions and the rights, the licenses, don't steal fonts guys, remember that. So once I do that, I can click on this font now and I can click on this drop down. click on Noah. And then now the style should be in there. So I want to make this one like extra bold. Um, I'll make this one, we'll go, make sure you click it and then go, this one might be bold. This one might be probably medium. Yep, that looks cool. I can also adjust the sizings um, and also um, how far the width and the height. If you scale up by the corner, you can see it will scale up the size. You can also just go to the size and like change it um, in the box here. So if I go there, that's super cool. So you really have a lot of freedom, customizability, love that. Awesome. So now once I'm done with this, I can click on the left-hand side. I've got templates, I can add things. So maybe I wanna, you know, drop in some text or something. Like maybe I wanna drop like 40% off. We'll drop that in there. As you can see, I just wanna change the color real quick. I'm gonna select that, change the color. So you can see you can easily drop drop stuff in here, little templates. I can like bring it down here, whatever. You know, so you can really play around with that. I can click delete, that will delete it. So we've got elements. Um, we can use Shutterstock, Audio Track, Shapes, Mask, Icons. They've got so much in here. And I think I love the Shutterstock option because it's super amazing. So maybe I wanna put like a background. Let's put say like maybe um, texture, fabric or something. Beautiful. And I can get maybe like some texture and like I can use it for the back. 
So maybe I want this like nice leather. That's pretty cool. I can literally just drag it, drop it on the board here. And then I can scale it up just like that. It does have a watermark, but once you um, download it then um, and finalize everything, then it will take it off. So boom, have that. Now on my right hand side, you can see I've got the layers panel here. So I'm going to drag this image to the bottom just above the color. Great. And now what I can do is I can click on the little art palette icon here and I can drop the opacity as you can see there. Okay. So maybe we'll go like 50%. I can add a blur if I want. I can add filters. So easily like one click and it'll add like a filter. Um, you know, I can adjust things, the brightness, the contrast. So you really have full control over the design which I love. If you have an image that needs to cut out the background, you can just click remove background and it will do it in like a couple seconds. So that's super cool. You can even add a drop shadow as well. So maybe I want to add like a drop shadow. You can see it's already got one right there. I can click edit. I can bring the opacity up, um, you know, and we can play around with it. So super easy to do. And that's on the shoe there. Love that. Super cool. And buttons. You've got so many styles there, even background colors. You can use the animator at the brand kit and you've also got apps that integrate Dropbox. So if you want to send straight to your client for reviews, super easy. So now once you're done with your design, what you can actually do is go to the top left corner and click on the resize button. So once I do that, it gives me options to allow to resize this ad design into any size we want. I can click on Instagram here. Maybe we want it for Facebook. We want it for story. Uh, maybe we want it for like a Twitter post. I'm going to scroll down here. Maybe you want a Pinterest as well. And then let's say we want it on a business card. Cool. And you can literally like do so many different ones. So you've got like um, ebook cover, slideshow, presentation. Maybe you want it for that. You've got display here. And you can even do custom size. So if I want a custom size, I can enter the width and the height as well. And that will add that to um, my template um, here. And so all I got to do from there is go down to the bottom and click generate a set in selected sizes. So I've selected around seven sizes. And what I'm going to do now is actually move around the design to fit the overall vertical, square and rectangle sizes. So I'm in square. Up the top, you can see we've got square, vertical and preview set. So it's on square. Um, I can move things around, make things a bit bigger and it will adjust. But I'm going to click on vertical. So what I'm going to do is adjust the size on vertical to make it relevant and every design with like vertical format it will adjust the overall design so this one maybe you want to go a bit bigger adjust the, the bounding box there yep. maybe bump the logo up the shoe looks fine make sure it's all centered as well Cool. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Now all I'm going to do is click preview set, the top right corner, the big, uh, nice bluish purple button. And it's going to start to generate all the sizes for me. Amazing. So we've got all the sizes there. If I scroll down, you can see it tells you. So this one is 1200 pixels. We've got 1080 by 1080. So that's Instagram. We've got like a carousel size. We've got a story size. And we've got that size. Super cool. And you can see here, I don't know why um, that is cut off. So usually it gives you, you got to make sure that everything is, you know, fits within the square. Maybe we want to make that a bit smaller. I'll click preview. We can always go click open in generator and go back to the generator and actually adjust um, and, and move around these designs. So now in the generator, you can see all these templates here. Right, some of them are looking really good. Now you can see obviously Twitter, a Twitter size post, it might not be the best. So I can click edit. And you can see it's um made this, it sort of squished it because it wasn't fitting. So I can come through here. You know, I can move the background images. So now 
there was issues with the spacing and the sizing, but now we fix that. And you, you, all you have to do is go to the specific ones that are not working and just fix that. And it's only a few, but usually it does a great job depending if you've done everything and designed it nicely. Now, once you're done with that, I can go to the top corner, click share, and I'll get feedback from my client. So I can, you know, um, find my client at, at uh, we'll just say like Nike or whatever. And then it will verify the email address and then, or you can get a share link, click share link, copy that. And if I paste it, the client, this is what the client will see. And then they can, you know, click on the design and say, hey, fix this design, fix the background or whatever. They can post it. And then now they can see this. And on the side, you get all the comments laid out for you. It's super easy. And then you can come in here and just click open and edit and then edit inside that generator. So if I'm happy with all the designers, I can add and remove sizes to so the top left button here. I can click add or remove and you can see there's so many different sizes here. Um, you know, if there's any ones I don't want, I can always just like get rid of it and um, apply. And so I'm gonna go to the top right corner and the cool thing is you can actually download in many different file formats where s most websites are very limited. Whereas here you could do JPEGs, PNGs, you can even do a PDF, MP4s for videos, and even HTML banners as well. So if I want to do say JPEG, I can do like high quality 90%, that's totally fine. Scale, yep, yeah, one. Amazing. It's got that texture in there. It's got all the text, the font that we wanted, just like that, super easy. And it just literally happens within less than 20 seconds. So, and the cool thing is I can always jump back in. I can duplicate a ad set that I've created. And maybe if uh, I have a similar client that uses similar like fonts and layouts, I can just reuse the designs and just change some of the images. And I can always come back here into my project section, as you can see, and find um, the design sets. So if I click on projects, you can see Nike design right here. It doesn't have a brand kit yet. I can just go and click on my designs, a little folder here, and I can see all my designs. So you can see the original. I can quickly just download that. I can click on the three dots. I can edit, I can share, I can open the share link. I can move to a folder and create folders to make it all neat. Now, if you want to try Kratopi, I'll put a link in the description below. You can try it out. They give a seven day free trial on all their plans. I recommend trying out the pro plan because it's super awesome. You can also upgrade or downgrade your plan at any time. And I think it's a great platform if you're someone that always designing ads, maybe you run a social media agency or marketing agency and um, you wanna you know, design and make it faster, then definitely recommend this. I think it's super amazing. But yeah, I'll put the link in the description. You can check it out, play around with it. Maybe you already know how to create ads, but you don't know how to design logos. Watch me challenge 50 logo design generators in this video right here and see how the results came out.